What is up guys, X3 Chronic back at again once again with yet another amazing video. And in today's video, I bring you episode 3 of Underrated but Overpowered. Now, today's deck in hand will be a Cyber Angel deck, not featuring the Kini, but it is based around the MVP, Ben 10, for an amazing OTK. Now, if you're new here, like always, remember to like and subscribe for more, hit the notification bell to know if I'm putting any new content on my channel, and don't just look at this video, go check out some other videos. I do a variety of content on this channel, not only deck guides, OTK guides, and anything else. So you might just find something you enjoy and stick around. But if you do stay tuned in this video, I will give you an idea of what cards to use for this deck. I will actually show a list of all the cards I use for this deck, why I use them, which ones combo the best, and everything else to constantly get you guys a win in Duel Links. But let's go right into my commentating, which is not the best, but I still try my best. If you do not know what I set down, I just set down a Deep Diver on my turn, and with his effect, I should be able to put a Monster Card on top of my deck for my next draw phase of my choosing. On my opponent's turn, I'm waiting for him to do whatever he needs, which he activates his Trap Card, which if you guys aren't too fond of duels that take a pretty long time, this guy really did put an emphasis on waiting to use his cards because he kept me waiting for a while this entire time. But on to my opponent's turn, he draws a card and he gets, if he would draw, let's see what he puts down. He sets a monster phase down and he goes directly into the battle phase, not setting any more cards face down as in spells or traps. He attacks my monster, I check his effect to see what it really does, knowing that it does not stop my monster's effect by any chance, and or give him a chance to attack me directly. He destroys my monster, and during his end phase, I go ahead and activate my monster's effect. And I put Idaton on top of my deck for my next draw. Now, I, in this duel, I really thought I bricked my hand, and I wouldn't be able to record this one, but overall, I said I'd keep going, and I'm really glad I did, because I made one of the best comebacks ever to exist in this game so far. Now, as I draw Edithin, I realize that I have no ritual cards in my hand. So, I set down Skill Angel in face down defense position, and in my turn, hoping that he would attack it, and I draw a make, um, machine ritual, or anything else. On my opponent's turn, he draws a card, and he sets down a trap. Oh, he actually activates a spell. Now, I really don't know what fire formations do. I haven't read too much into them. All I know is that you use them on fire fist cards, which I have rarely ever seen anyone use and or somehow win with. So I really didn't know what to think going into this duel. I didn't know if I would win or lose, but I still kept on going and hoped that I'd drag it. I draw the right card. He attacks my skill angel and I get to draw one card. And I draw another Ben 10. So at this point I really think I bricked my hand and could not come back from this. Amazingly on my turn I go ahead and draw and I get a ritual weapon. And if you haven't got the idea of what's going on here. I have nothing I can really do apart from summon a luster dragon. And that's really it. So I really thought I was going to lose, and this is actually where I came into the idea that I might stop recording. But I kept on going, and I attacked his face down with Luster Dragon to get it out of the way. Hopefully it wasn't anything to stop me from attacking, in order to destroy my monster, because that would have left me open for a direct attack, which possibly could have ended this duel. But attacking his face down monster, I see that it does not have as much defense as I thought it would, and it goes directly to the graveyard. I go ahead and end my turn, and it is now my opponent's turn. Let's see what he does. On my opponent's turn, he draws a card. And with that, he does not activate anything, so that is very surprising. But he goes directly into the battle phase. I think. Oh wait, he does activate something. Oh no, he doesn't. Well, he goes ahead and attack my Luster Dragon destroying it and dealing a bit of damage not too much but just enough for me to somehow worry oh, 
After a little 200 damage, my Luster Dragon goes to Graveyard, and on my turn, I believe in the heart of cards, and next thing I know, I draw exactly the card I needed. In activating this, I'll go ahead and throw that into the field. I will use Edith as my material to summon my Benton. But this is where I meant about my opponent not really using his cards and or stopping the effect of his cards so I can continue with my turn. He did this a lot. I don't know if it was his connection or the fact that his card popped up and he didn't realize it, but he really did take his time on doing it. But I summon Benton using Edith as my material. And I send Edith to the graveyard. I summon Benton to the field, use Edith's effect to boast my attack by a thousand. If my opponent would gladly end his turn. If only. Boost my attack by a thousand, and I activate Ritual Weapon and equip it to my monster. That will boost up to 4,600 attack. But my opponent uses his trap, which really could not do much. So I boost my attack once again, and that will be 5,800 attack. I activate my skill, which is um, the skill that you should be running with this deck. And it is called Beatdown. It increases your monster's attack by 300, as long as you have a monster with 5 stars or more. With that, I have 6,100 attack to his 2,100, and that is 4,000 damage flat. And if it wasn't, and I, he still somehow survived, even with the middle of my life points, Benton's effect would have made it to where he would have taken damage apart from the monster's defense. So either way, he would have lost. And with that, we will get directly into talking about this deck and seeing what it does. Now for part 2 of my favorite part of the video, we'll go across the deck and what to use in the deck, how each card is used in the deck, and why they are. Now first off, this deck needs Ben 10, that's what this deck is based around, so if you don't have this card, you need to go get her and get multiple copies of her. At least 3, no less than 3. Now, your second card which will support Ben 10 is Cyber Angel Edith. If you do not have this card, you need to go play as Alexa Rhodes in Duel Links and unlock it, because that's currently the only way you can get it. You can only get one copy though, so make sure you don't end up, you know, selling it or doing anything else. Now, your other two support cards for this will be Ritual Weapon. That's really it. That Ritual Weapon is one of the major parts of this deck for Ben 10. Now, you can run three or two. It's up to you. I wouldn't run less than three, but... I'll let you guys be the deciders of that. Like I said, this is all my opinion. I'm just getting you guys started off if you haven't won a match and or you're new to Duel Links. Now, to get this card into your hand or in or any of your ritual monsters or ritual spells, you need Thousand Hand, which can let you put a ritual monster in your hand. Deep Diver, who can put a monster card on top of your deck of your choosing for your next draw phase. Cyber Angel Petty or Cyber Petty Angel. That way you can add either or to your hand, a ritual spell and or a ritual monster, along with it's cyber. And you also need at least two cyber machine ritual cards. That's all you need. You need two cyber machine ritual that we can protect your monsters. And you need one absolute and or any other card that you would like to run to summon a light type ritual monster to your field. That's really it for the deck. It's a pretty short video. Everything else is basically fodder for either material and or protect myself for a turn. I mean, I use Skill Angel for the extra draw, that way I don't end up breaking my deck too badly. And I also have Snipe Hunter if I have to get some cards off the field, more annoying cards like maybe Wonder Balloons or anything else, maybe a Blue Eyes if I can't get all my attack in one turn. But that is really it, guys. That is the entire deck, and that's how you use it. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video and you're new here, Remember to like and subscribe for more. If you are a recurring visitor of my channel, make sure to enjoy your day, night, wherever it is you are enjoying. And that's basically it. If you guys do like this deck and or have some other ideas for this deck, make sure to leave it in the comments below. If you're new and you've subbed, make sure to put hashtag subgang in the comment section below so I know to shout you out in my next video. If you want to, it is not mandatory. It is all up to you. Apart from that, 
I will go ahead and end off the video with my final words, which are, it has been chronic, and as usual, I am out. I will see you guys next time when I make another underrated but overpowered video, but maybe there might be something coming out in the next few days. I mean, I'm looking at my little journal here that I keep all my video ideas, and I see one that might just be coming out tomorrow, so you guys better stay tuned.